Hello guys, this is Engineering HQ here today to bring you just a quick run through on the Dell Inspiron 7559i5 version and I'm going to be adding some of the RAM inside and I'm just going to show you how you would go about doing this when you add the RAM inside. Uh, it's not a hard process. What you need is you need one of these mini screwdrivers, mini screwdrivers. Um, it doesn't have to look like this, it could look like anything. What you want is something that can fit inside the small uh, small uh, screw over here. So first off, dust off everything because you got to turn your computer upside down. All right, so you're going to be looking at this screw right here. You see this screw right here? It's kind of tiny, so you need a small head to actually fit through here. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be just taking it off over here. After that, you want to like wedge it off. What I do is what's simply you got some of these keychains, right? You have one of these IKEA or whatever, and you just do this. Yeah, yeah. Very quickly, you see, it goes right over here. Here, see, nothing too hard. All right. And then should be able to pull it off. Back off a bit. You see, pull it off right here. Now, as you can see, I have the memory already, already on this right now. But it's simply easy to take this off. You see these two? Just pull to the side, and it just pushes up. So let's say this is what's what's going to happen when you have a memory stick. It's going to come in one of these tiny crucial. I used one of these. Uh, extra ones that I have for my older laptop since I don't I don't need to spend the money if I already have one but this is a 4 gig Samsung DDR3L uh, you have to have a DDR3L for the Dell i7559 either i7 version Intel Core Processor i7 or i5 you both need DDR3L uh, the 3L means that it's basically 1.35 volts. That's the difference. You can't put a 1.5 volt, which is a regular DDR3 inside. It just won't work. So what you want to do is you find your card, right? You look inside here and you see these two pins, right? You see these two pins. What you want to do is you want to slide this over here. Oh, yeah. Do we want to push all the way? Here you go. All right. So let me, let me tell you again. So to get this out, we're simply just push these a little bit and pulls right out. So you don't want to push it all the way, but push it enough that you can just, you see how far I'm going inside right here? Right, just go in here, it's done. After that, of course, make sure you see your thing. After you add the memory, what should happen is, have it over here. And screw back, screw this back on. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Make sure. Wrap your finger around here. All right. Now you want to turn it back around. Okay. Now what's gonna happen is when you first turn on your uh, computer. It's gonna go to the BIOS screen, all right? I think because I reinstalled and stuff, it goes back, yeah. It's gonna go to this screen, or maybe not. But it's gonna go to BIOS screen, just skip it. It should be automatic. The first one or two times when you boot this up, um, what happens is it should not work, but it, it should work, but sometimes it doesn't work. Just turn it off and then restart it. After a few more, once the computer once you boot up the computer one or two times, it should work forever. That happened when I did it, that the first time I did it, it didn't work, but after a while, it did work. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this guide helped, and see you in the next one.